Oh, hi. It's Nettie here, and you know what? I'm still in my Mexican outfit. You know why? This is really an Advent message, but I, I just had a little message about how you can simplify giving gifts. And, you know, look at this. I gave this to myself, sort of. Well, actually, Fred bought them, but these are my little Mexican earrings I bought, and they, they don't fit quite right, so I just hang them for my glasses. <laughs> anyway, here's my message. You know, sometimes we just don't really have the funds to go out and buy big things for, for people. And, you know, with Fred and me, we like to do certain things. Like, you know, we combine our Christmas and our anniversary funds for one another. And we go to Mexico. Mexico. I get that wrong all the time. The X is kind of like a sound. <laughs> anyway. So, what I did for Fred... And, you know, he might see this before Christmas, but that's okay. What I did for Fred is I made a little, I made a little, well, Jimmy calls it a trailer. It's what you usually do when you're going to advertise a movie. But I thought it might be a good way to kind of sum up a little bit about our Mexico trip. And, you know, I think he's going to love it. He took a lot of pictures, and so did Fred, and I had him kind of take some. And then we took some videos. And you saw my videos live, but here's the deal. You can make a slideshow and then, you know, Jimmy taught me how to, how he installed an Apple TV on my TV. Oh, it's amazing. And so if I had to show Fred something, I just kind of click on it and, and click on that and it clicks and it, it, it plays. <laughs> it, it's it's marvelous because we get to share some of our 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 special times like when my grandchildren were here and Fred took a walk down the down the lane with him. Oh my goodness. I got to share that even though I was kind of doing the dishes. <laughs> so he came back and shared that and it's precious. It's really precious. So so here's the advent challenge. How do we make it simple? How do we be still and be quiet, even in the rush of shopping and wrapping? And some of that's still precious, isn't it? Because every time I wrap a present, I'm thinking about the person. I'm thinking about that person. I love them. Or I wouldn't be giving them something. And I try really hard not to go overboard. And I try to get them something they really want. But you know... It's really the heart of Advent is being still and being the light. And maybe it's time for us to be the light to others in that we don't have to be caught up in the rush and the hubbub and, and we don't have to do all those things that don't mean something. You know, maybe or maybe not, I might be doing fudge for you because it's a precious tradition, but I'd be showing you something that was really special in my family until it wasn't, because now my, my kids don't eat a lot of sugar, so I don't make it anymore. But I'm going to make it for a party, because if you spread all those calories out amongst about 50 people, it's okay. <laughs> so I'll probably do it this year, because other people will enjoy it. And it is a tradition that has been standing in my family for 40 years. And it's something I can do and make with my own hands and share with a lot of people. What can you do? What are the traditions you might need to break from? Because they don't serve a purpose anymore. How do you remember those? Ah, you think about the people who started them and why they were so special. I think about Christmas Eve when we went to grandma's house or to my auntie's house or they came to ours and christmas eve we'd already eaten a little snack and usually we got burgers on christmas eve because dad would get off early and they'd get home by four forty-five with a bag of burgers <laughs> because we were going to have snacks later on before and after presents because santa claus came on christmas eve and the highlight was always grandma's fudge that was our treat. We had Christmas cookies too. And, you know, we had dips and chips and little sausages and all that stuff. But Grandma's fudge was made once a year. 
with special ingredients. It was called millionaire fudge for a reason, because it cost us a lot to make it. And you know, what I remember when I make the fudge now, not just the flavor, but those women who kept that tradition going, including me. And I'm kind of the last. I'm the last one of the generation to, uh, to keep it going. But nothing stops the memories. So this Advent, what things can you let go? Because you do have the memories and maybe even some pictures. And what new little thing can you do that shows the world that it's not the gift? It's not the money you spend, but the memories you share that are so delightful. And in that, you're keeping a spirit of simplicity, the simplicity of the season, the simplicity of our faith, that we celebrate a birth of a child who was born in a manger. Yeah. Not with lights, and not with tinsel, and not with grandma's food, even. <laughs> Just a simple little place. Mm. So... Anyway, enjoy the video because it's on. I'm sharing it now. So happy Advent. There's going to be more. There's going to be a lesson on glitter next. <laughs> oh, don't be crappy. Be happy and be the light. Bye-bye. On the beach. We've been having a nice quiet vacation and we've tried to keep it a little private. I, I told Fred I wouldn't intrude on our anniversary. So I actually just sent him to get me a Mai Tai. Supposedly a Mai Tai is really good. It's got fruit juice in it and we're going to share one. So in a minute he should be coming back. Need to be coming back with that. Oh, I think it just arrived. Fred, did you get me one? Yes, dear. What? What is this, Fred? It's my tie. It's his tie. It's his my tie. I think I need to have have a little discussion with Fred. And give him some lessons on booze. <laughs> he doesn't do booze. <laughs> well, I don't either. But you know, we're on vacation. Cheers. What do you got there, friend? Here's your real Mai Tai, dear. Oh, Fred, thank you so much. But cheers. Cheers. What? Fred? Ah, ah. <laughs>